Thank you for joining me, everyone. And well done on your efforts in getting to this point. Yeah, at least I could help with this stuff. No time for sulking. We're this close to figuring out whether what's down there can really help us get up there. So, we finally decide on who gets to go down there, right? I might be the first Plumilim to even care what's down there. Yes, well, that is to say... Oh, Harold, it was nothing personal, but we already met to discuss that. You decided without me? Oh, without me too, Howell. Yeah, it just kind of came up during one of our standard peer reviews. We are going down as a given, right? And then we decided it made most sense for Bridget to go with. She has the mixture of observational prowess and energy understanding. Oh, I see. But I'm actually acutely claustrophobic, so I had to pass. I wouldn't have been able to trust myself not to freak out down there. Oh, so... Cyrus was the next natural candidate, with his expertise in botany and molecular biology. Oh, makes sense, I guess. But, just as I was about to accept, I kept thinking of Sunny. And, you know, my responsibility. To my fish, too. If anything should happen to me down there, Sunny would never forgive me. I'm sure your fish would forgive you, though. Oh. Uh, Professor, you're next in line, then. You're the most experienced, after all. Sure I am, but... Harold, are you fooling me? I've only got one hand. Wait. So, if not you, then... We did consider the astronaut, but we weren't sure he'd actually fit. So... so... We're sorry to put the burden on you, Harold. But you're the next best man for the job. I... yes! I mean... yes. I... It'll be okay. No need to worry. We'll all be here looking out for you. I know. You don't have to con... And you have a great rapport with Wii U, so it makes sense. And you've proven recently that you're more responsible than maybe we gave you credit for. Plus, you've developed a real affinity for flumulin processes and mental models. I'll look after you, Howell. Don't worry. I accept! There's no need to be rash. Take a few moments to mull it over. Wait, are you kidding with me now? Harold, you know I don't jape in times of scientific urgency. I meant about telling me, not going down there. We'll give you some extra training before you go, of course. Thank you, everyone. We'll do you all proud, I promise. No doubt that you will. Now, let's get going. Time is still short. Been a while since. Nope, can't hold it in any longer. Bathroom time. like the shower is playing up. <laughs> is that a... Hello? Are you okay in there? Hey, it's okay if you're sad, but just tell me if you need medical attention. No, I'm not ill. Secretary? Is that you? Or one of you? It's me, Secretary 24. <laughs> no, I'm not Secretary 24 anymore. I'm no one. Oh no, what happened? I've... 
after clock gate, all water needed <laughs> to show culpability. And so I was fired. I've been scapegoated. Wha what? But for what? Surely you didn't have anything to do with anything. I know, but, but it's happened anyway. They used that one disciplinary action I had on my file from years ago as an excuse. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Was my career a total waste? All that time, and then just discarded like a used tube ticket. It makes me realize the only people who are really there for you, who are truly loyal, are your family. Well, you have a lot of that at least, right? Yes, that's true. But me and my brothers aren't as close as we used to be. We used to do so much together. Such fun stuff. Well, maybe now you have the time. Yes. Yes, you're right. We should get our a cappella group back together. Mend the rift at last. Warren was right. There is more to life than a steady job. You should do it. Use this new lease of life to solve the feud. I will. You'll see. It's time for a new me. Great. So, now you're no longer a secretary. What should we call you? I'll just stick to 24. Why fix what isn't broken, right? Oh, right. Okay. Go get him, 24. Thank you for listening, whoever you are. It's me, Mr. Halib... I mean, Harold. Well then, thank you, Harold. You'll always be a bathroom buddy to me now. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Sunny? Oh, oh, hey, Harold. Sunny, you didn't often talk about your parents. No. You know I love them both, and I should visit Mama more, too. But all the women in my family have such strong personalities, I just kind of want to get mine ironed out first before I become one of them. How's your personal search going? Yep, making progress. Ah, uh, you've made me feel so guilty about not seeing Mama recently. Maybe I'll get her to tell me some more stories about Serena. I'd better be going, Sonny. Peace out.
Hey, Tommy. How's it hanging, Harry? Mr. Halibut. Hello there, sir. Hey, hey! Oh, wow. Hi, everyone. It's good and quite strange to see you all together. Yeah, man. It's about time, right, bros? Yes. Family over bosses for me now. Yes, well, some of us have still got to make an honest living. Now, now, Secretary Eight. We're luckier than a double ruffle winner to have got over our differences. So, what are you all doing here? How did this happen? I guess it started after our little bathroom encounter, when I approached Warren. We got talking about the past and how now half of the brothers were Exel water. Yeah, and like I said, all the reasons for us being weird with each other. We couldn't even remember them. And I thought, if neither of us can... That's when they came to me. And then me. And we all realized it can't have been anything that important. And so now, we're preparing our comeback show. The Acapella 24 mentioned? I can't wait to hear it. We wouldn't be here without you, Harold. Enjoy the show. If I had the fins of a fish, I would travel far under the sea. And a rocky old road I would follow to the place that is heaven to me. When the sun goes to rest, not that we can see, way down in the west. Not that this planet is really the greatest. I'll build a nest in the place I love best, a dear little ship in the sea. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. Thank you for traveling with all water. Inspecting. Mist commences in three. Three. Wait for it. Zero. Please do not. Hey, Slippy. Harold, my man. Please halt for your continued inspection. Inspecting. 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 Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Please hold for your entrance. Okay, everyone, listen up. Welcome to Green Thumb Class. You may be wondering what Green Thumb Class is and why you're here at Green Thumb Class. Well, this was originally going to be a private seminar to discuss 
safe handling of the particles that make up the energy source based on our findings, most of which were my findings, may I add, especially the sound wave element, which... Go on with it, Sai. Yes, yes, sorry. But then we decided it might be fun to open it to the public as a kind of general botany 101. So here you all are, and thank you for coming. Here are some tips for all of you on handling things with green thumb status, which includes the energy particles as well as general flora around the cave. Number one, exert minimum pressure. The cells of these particles and anything else you encounter down there could be incredibly sensitive. Number two, check for root-like material. If taking any samples, keep them as intact as possible, taking care not to sever anything. If you must take a sample, take it from as close to the end of the root as possible. Number three, keep well lit and warm. We still don't know exactly what combinations of environmental factors is preferred by whatever is down there, but we can surmise it's similar to how it already is. For example, if you find something in the dark, don't shine a bright light on it. Any questions? Can plants think? Can plants, uh, uh, not in the way we can. They don't have nervous systems, of course. But then what does it mean to think? After all, it's just a- Get on with it! Sai, what happens if you eat the particles? Um, we don't know. Ingesting or inhaling anything down there is not advised. Is there a danger of the particles being shocked by environment change? Very good question. It's possible, but from what we can tell, they can handle a small degree of ambience change. Follow these basics, and I'm sure we won't have any green thumbs falling off. Harold, those are the essentials, but I'll be staying here to discuss the specifics of boron deficiency in cruciferous veg if anyone is interested in sticking around. Right. For those of you who stuck around, this is going to be a wild ride. Oh, I suppose the house party has started. Well, I'm sure it won't be more fun than my lecture. But it'd be a shame to miss it. Chris, uh, man. Well done. You know, you've become quite the dog of the town. Your exploits in the fishy cave are becoming more riveting than Son Zhu Ashk. Well, at least more interesting than seasons 1 through 6 and then 9 through 22. Ah, yes. That run from 7 through 9 was real killer stuff, huh? So, are you excited? Have you been training? Training? I hadn't thought about that. Do you think it'll be demanding? You got to be prepared for the unexpected. Oh, well, what would you suggest? Hmm, we don't have time to put you on a proper routine. But you're a friend, though. I'll tell you about my emergency regime. It sounds uncomfortable. I really think I'll be fine. Don't risk it. Look, it's a flexibility routine. Just breathe really deeply and let all your limbs go loose. Shake them around while shouting, I can do anything! It's no replacement for years of disciplined exercise, but it's better than nothing. Okay, I'll try and give it a try before I head down. 
Enjoy yourself for now, though, eh? Huh? Party hard, work hard. You got it, Chris. Cheers. Salut! Well, you know, uh, people have gathered for a special occasion to celebrate. But we haven't gone anywhere yet. No, but it's for good luck and to raise our spirits. I'm not sure I really get it, especially the strange movements people are making. They don't usually move like that. Movements? Huh. Oh, you mean dancing. It's... Hmm. I guess an expression of letting go, enjoying a rhythm. Ah, I like it. But only an outside musical rhythm? Yes, at least when other people are watching anyway. Well, I don't totally understand the rules, but it's nice to see everyone smiling. Yes, it is. It'll be even nicer when we come back with a magical new energy source and everyone treats us as heroes. Heroes? Yeah, it's a, a person who's admired and treated with a lot of respect. We're not heroes already. Heck, you're my hero, buddy. It's all very weird, but I'm excited if you are. I'm sure we'll have lots of stories to tell at the next party. I'm sure we will. I'm gonna chat to some of the others, but make sure to get some rest. Okay. Party time. Hello, Yaba. How are you feeling? I'm not drunk if that's what you're insinuating. Oh, no. I just meant after all the all water stuff. Hmm. Yeah, that was frustrating. I really thought we were onto something. Well, you were. It's actually pretty amazing what you managed to figure out from scratch. Hmm. But we had it all wrong. Yeah, but for a bunch of non all water employees with limited resources you got so much right and maybe it forced the ceo into thinking about how they were doing things hmm. so you're saying we might not have produced a full-scale expose in regime change but we might have been agent provocateurs giving rise to a procedural review yes totally interesting you know once you're back from the mission you should drop by the hideout again you can tell us all about it thanks yava i promise to swing by well, good luck, comrade. Until next time. Harold, my man. Ha! Ah, hey, sorry. Are you okay? Never better. Responsible for a secret relaunch procedure that everyone is dependent on. My friend is about to descend into the depths of an unknown alien cave thing to get the energy we need for it. <clears throat> what could there be for me to worry about? I see. Well, you don't have to worry about me. Wii U will look after me down there. Maybe I'm worried for Wii U. <laughs> It'll be okay, son. All you, all of us, can do is our best, right? Right. I'll worry as best I can. That's not what I meant. It's okay, man. We'll all be okay. It was just me. Maybe not. But with Bridget, Moreau on side, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Yes, exactly. Cheers, Cyrus. Hey there, Sonny. Hey, Harold. You excited? 
I guess so. It'll be different. You know, I'm proud of you. I always knew you were a goof. <laughs> and you are. But I did always secretly think you'd figure out how to do something cool one day. Hey. Aw, oh, come on. I didn't mean it in a bad way. Maybe I was never as much of a goof as you thought. I know, I know. I even kind of envy you a bit. You should relax, Sonny. Try and enjoy where you are. Maybe, but you know, it's your cosmic consciousness that helps your luck to happen, you know? Anyway, I'm glad it was you that met the fish folk first. Huh. Don't you like fish? No, it's just... If it was anyone else... I just think you were the right man for the job. And you're gonna be the right girl for the job. Whatever the job is. Come tell me how it all went, huh? When you're back? For old time's sake? Sure. Wish me luck? Always. Professor, hey. Harold, my boy. How are you, you, you know, feeling? Oh, fine. I'm not worried about a thing. You know, I kind of wish I could go with you. Wouldn't it be fun? Oh, well, yeah, it'd be great. Are you sure you can't? <laughs> with this age and my arm, <laughs> I think not. Oh, I'm sure we could. We, you and I, would... You're not that old. Yada, yada, blah, blah. <laughs> not trying to make me feel better. I'm just happy we get to experience this, even if I don't actually get to see it. Even if I don't actually get to see it. Yeah. And we wouldn't even be getting to see it if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Can I get you another drink? <laughs> I'd probably better not. Okay. Well... It's okay, Harry. I'm okay. Go have fun. But not too much fun. We've got a real slip tomorrow. Thanks, Mom. See you later, then. appreciate it. So, we got a few things together for you. Hopefully you'll find them useful and or delightful. As a human. Yes. We're still not really sure how your kind thinks, but we've tried our best. Oh, wow. You all... I'm so flattered. You shouldn't have. Oh, go on. Open it. Oh, okay. Let's have a look-see. Oh, this looks great. A nice little fish. Is the fish not big enough for you? No, 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 it's perfect. Thank you. Okay, up next, some hairpins? Yes, we were told by Chris that these things come in very useful. Where are you now? I mean, thank you. Oh, there's something else in here. I think you're gonna love this one. A rubber hammer. In case I see any molds I need to whack. I'll have it if you don't want it. No, 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 it's all great, thank you. Now I'm prepared for anything. Good luck, Harold. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Hey, will you? 
Howl? What is the difference between Ooble Pops and Ooble Boops? <laughs> you see, Ooble Boops and Ooble Pops are actually not similar at all. One is like a bubble, and the other is like a bubble made to pop. More for fun, uh, not useful. Huh. Home at last. Wait. How did I get here? I don't remember. And I don't remember leaving it like this. Has someone been in here? It wasn't me! Felix, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, bub. This is my room. But... How do you really know that? Felix... I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. I feel like there's something important I should be doing. I need some space to think, okay? Sorry. Nah, it's okay. You're right, Harold. There is something important you should be doing. I'm glad you agree. Wait, what? D do you know what it is? Nope, that's for you to find out. All I can do is point you in the right direction. The right direction isn't through a load of ducts, is it? No, no ducts. Just go through there and follow your heart. Okay. Yeah. Don't feel sleepy anyway. Thanks, Felix. Good luck, Harold. Hope I never see you again.
Do you ever wonder... About what? Uh, no, it's stupid. I shouldn't even bother you with it. You can tell me anything. It's just... Are you sure you want to tell me? No. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm? I just wonder... Have I been useful? At all? What have I really done? This whole time, people have only given me stuff to do when they haven't been bothered to do it themselves. Has there been anything that only I was able to do? So you're helpful. What's bad about that? You make the lives of everyone around you easier. But anyone could do that. I don't think they would give you things to do if they didn't trust you. Maybe. I suppose. But what if we're all doing the wrong thing anyway? Like what? Eating jam instead of wieners? <laughs> no, I mean, that's just personal taste. So, what can be a wrong or a right thing? I don't know. Where's home? Is there a wrong or right place for home? Maybe the fedora is fine down here. What if taking off is the worst thing that we could do? How do you decide anything? It's all so complicated with you humans. Unless... Are we too simple? How does anyone trust they're making the right decision? About anything? I don't know. Maybe we can't know. So why think? But if we don't worry at all... Hmm. Ah. Uh, it's nice. You can do it just like that? Hmm. Unless... Maybe... Maybe the whole point of not being sure is that it keeps your options open. If we were sure about everything straight away, we'd never change our minds. No. We would just be a fish swimming in one direction, following the current, happy, but probably missing out on most of the ocean. That's blugalugalugal. I see now. So, true blugalugal is being happy within uncertainty. Oh. I didn't think of it like that before, but I like it. So, have you tried jam on a wiener? doing I don't know I should know 
Maybe someone should just tell me like they always do, whatever and whenever they want. Are you being... what is it you call it? Scartastic? It's just so pointless, isn't it? All these crazy ideas for takeoff? What do any of them think it will achieve? Why can't we just be happy here? Yes. Some of you humans seem to have no blugalugalugal. Blugalugal. Ah! I wouldn't even be sad if the mission to find an energy source failed. Then we'd have to stay here. Have to? Couldn't you stay anyway? It's complicated. That's why the mission failing would make things simple. But wouldn't it make all of you sad? Everyone treats me like I'm just daydreaming. I mean, what else am I supposed to do when I was born onto a spaceship? The same one I'll die on, with no options. A mission that is probably pointless, decided on by people I never knew before I was born. Who could have spent the money and energy on staying and helping instead? Who probably made half the problems on Earth? Who made my parents... Who... I'm angry too! I'm angry with myself. I didn't consider that. Sorry, will you... What are you angry about? It's okay. I I'm not sure. I just feel your anger, and it makes me angry that things are making you upset. And I really hate the tube system. The access card is a dumb shape, it smells weird, and it doesn't work properly half the time. Howell, if you had a fish for a long time, and then another fish came to visit, and you could only keep one fish, which fish would you choose? What? Why? Why can't I have both fish? Just because. One fish is going to swim away. Out of your control. I don't know. Which fish is nicer? Maybe one fish can speak. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Maybe you don't even have a choice. Doesn't matter. No choice. These are weird feelings. Is one of the fish going to leave because they're angry at the other fish? Or maybe it's that one of them...
Wii U. You know, I've got a good feeling about this. I have a great feeling too. Everything is bubbly. <laughs> wow, I know what you mean. Like, we're being carried along by loads of tiny floating little bubbles and anything is possible. Like I'm just going to float along. A gentle tide that only wants what's best for us. We've come this far. And all we can do is be us and see what happens, right? Don't you worry about where Fedora will go. Yeah, but since all this, I've learned that worrying just makes you get less done. This feeling that things will work out, it helps. Yeah, we've taught each other lots. Humans are funny, but I think life will be more interesting now we've met you. Yeah, and we saved each other. Yes. Wait, it was only me that was hurt. Now there's an exciting future for both of us. Lots of plans. If we explore and find new things, wonderful. If there is nothing else, wonderful too. Definitely. Good things ahead. But something bad might happen one day. True. I hope no bad things even happen to start with. <laughs> Me too. But it'll be okay if they do. We'll deal with them together. I want to try even more strange human things. And I'll get good at Caracal and the arty performances. We could make a garden. Like size. Yes, and make new kinds of jam. Ooh. I hope so. I really hope so. Whatever happens to the Fedora and everyone, I just know it'll work out okay. And I think okay is enough. goodness you're here where else would i be we're in this together how i know but sometimes i stop what i'm doing and i think no one ever truly knows how i feel how anyone feels so what actually connects us growing up on the ship i thought with so many people i'd never be alone but then it's only a few people you want around you and I wasn't expecting to be alone. You weren't alone. I'm scared of being alone. But at the same time, not being alone is scary too. Everyone... What about everyone? Everything. Everyone wants something different from me. Or I need something from them. It's so exhausting keeping track of it all. Oh. I don't really think about the other Flumilim. Wii U is Wii U, to me and to them. So, you do what you want? 
Whatever anyone else thinks or expects? No, I think about them, but we are not tied together. But what about your responsibilities? I mean, I can't just run away from it all. Are your legs hurt? Oh, I mean, I'd feel bad, guilty. They've been good to me. So what are you worried about? Are you going somewhere? Well, yeah, somewhere. I mean, we all are, right? Together? We're all bound up in everything together. Then there's you and me? Oh, look. Is that... Are they? I think they're the two Flumilim that came down here before. They do look happy, don't they? Wow. Huh. Anyway, we are all connected, but you shouldn't be dragged along by someone. True. I affect them too, right? But you also can't do everything alone. True. True. Wii U? Wii U, are you there? Powell. Ah, oh, it's you. What is going on here? I was so worried. Me too. But I also somehow knew I'd find you. Looks like the Dream Team is back together. But where are we? Not sure. But I have a feeling this is the right way to go. Lead the way. We don't have much else to go on. Do you think we are somewhere? I don't know. I don't think we're nowhere. Wherever we are, we're together. And this will make a good story. I hope so. Let's find out how it ends first. You still feel like this is the right way? Yep. Don't you? Actually, yes. It's strange, but something does seem to be pulling me along. Go with the tide. I'm going. You see that? You mean the giant floating flower beam? Uh, yeah, more or less. It's beautiful. It's making me feel sparkly. Powell, take my hand. Sure. Are you scared? <laughs> no. Come on, with me. Jump! <laughs> 